Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokesh here at the 2018 Libertarian National Conventions in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm joined by my good friend Tom Arnold, Liberty Claus, former state chair of the Libertarian Party of Tennessee, and just uh, such a beautiful, lovable, and really, uh, I want to say unifying presence in the Libertarian Party, because who doesn't like Liberty Claus? Tom, it's been awesome having you here this weekend, and you, you've had a great presence at the Libertarian National Convention. It, it, it's been an awesome weekend, Adam. It's been a weekend where all the contention that was happening before the convention, most of it seems to have gone out the window. And now we're working on becoming unified as a party. And that's my goal, uh, particularly bringing more young people in. We are, we are a big tent party. And so we have to be able to say, yes, there's room for just about everyone in this party. So uh, there was something that you said that the animosity of everything just just business is done now we're all just libertarians part of the same same movement same family and that that was what really surprised me I, this is this is my second national convention but uh, at the at the last one I wasn't nearly as involved whereas here you know I had a lot of things that I wanted to have a hand in and in, in, in helping direct the future of the party obviously but the the thing that 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 really uh, just impressed me the most was that there was that feeling over the course of the weekend of, of coming together and family's a really good analogy. How long have you been involved with the LP and what, what, what's well, your sense of that? I, I've officially been with the National Party for just three years, but I've been involved in the LP and 10 for about six years. Um, I just didn't get involved at the national level uh, till we, you know, started really participating and, uh, but you know, what, what I've seen this weekend, you know, I mean, I didn't support Joshua Smith for chair, but um, I was more than glad to endorse him as, uh, you know, as, as an at-large position on the board. Which he got. Which he got, yeah, because, because what he, his vote showed was that almost 25% of the delegates in this party were supporters of Joshua. And so we better have that represented on the LNC. Represented on the LNC, you know, it's not just let's do business like we've always done business, you know, because that 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 happens too much sometimes, you know, because you got a lot of people here who who aren't in social media, who aren't really they're they're money people, or they're not really active in you know in elections and grassroots and things like that. So yeah, so so we're coming together, and people like Matt Kunnel, who I love dearly, love him. We don't agree on what This is the open anarcho-communist who is running for the chairmanship. That's exactly right. I love Matt because, um, you know, he's, um, he's a beautiful person, and he's honest, and he's straightforward, and he's, you know, he's not shooting the breeze with anybody about what he believes, and what he believes is liberty, and what he believes is fighting the state. Now, there are places we don't, that don't agree on property rights and, and uh, rent is theft and things like that, but otherwise, you know, um, he has a place at the table. So, in in terms of what the party accomplished, and I, I want to ask you this question, not just for the party, because I know you have a much better sense of the movement. You know, there are some people who do get way caught up in the politics, and that's all they've got. You've obviously got, you know, a broader sense of this. What do you think was the significance of what happened here this weekend to the party, and how so then to the movement as a whole? Well, what I'm saying is we've had some changes on the board. Um, we have a new vice chair. Um, we have a lot of new board members, and that's a good thing because uh, if you're not making changes, things can stagnate. And so I think that the party is going to uh, uh, be better off for the changes. You know, I mean, you just you, you can live the same day-to-day -day existence you've always lived, but but if you don't, uh, but but then you stagnate. Like I said, so you know, we got to grow. We got to go. We got to bring young people in the party. We can't be a bunch of old farts. You know, we have to be young people who, who, uh, who are excited, who are involved, who are committed, and uh, who are actually doing things because you guys are the ones that have to make the decision. You need to be making the decisions that best affect your life. Tom, what was your favorite part of this weekend? My favorite part of this weekend was last night at the gala, dancing to, 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 to Dixie Funk, with Dr. Mary Ruart. That was my most favorite thing about the whole convention. 
because she is a delight and uh, you know never thought that that would happen but but yeah it was awesome absolutely and for those of you who are familiar with this content on this channel there's a, a great interview we did recently this is the second time here we've referenced it with dr mary ruart great huge positive influence on the party as well tom really appreciate your time right is there is there, are there any any websites you want to plug or anything else you want to no, say about the party this weekend right now except um uh, i'm going to be running for u.s senate in tennessee in 2020 and oh there's another thing the picture of Bill Weld, Adam Kokesh, and myself was one of those things I was working for this whole weekend. And it shows <laughs> a complete face of liberty. So that was an awesome thing, too. With the beautiful Liberty Clause, Tom Arnold in the I middle. Love you, buddy. Oh, thank you so much, brother. Yeah.